a true Canadian staple. We're talking maple syrup, and our good friend is back, Executive Chef David Baker. We saw you a few months ago at Deerhurst Resort. Yes, you did. You came up, you enjoyed the fall, and now we're... I enjoyed your food. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You make some good eating, and now... All through the month of March, you are actually asking people who want to come up to tap their own maple syrup on the grounds? Well, I wouldn't say the guests are going to tap their own maple syrup, but they're able to enjoy the maple syrup that we make at our sugar shack. So what we have is we do about probably 2,000 liters of maple syrup a year. Wow. We have our own sugar shack with a drop-in center over March break. Um, but some we, people do. They tap their own and then they boil it down and, oh, ooh, I'm going to make a mess. And they have their organic maple syrup at the ready. You have to know what you're doing, though. Yep. I mean, it's relatively simple to do it at home if you have maple trees. You can, really? this is called a spile. Okay. So what they'll do is they'll just hammer the spile into the tree. Okay. And if you get the right weather, the right snow, um, it's a good season, the sap will run. You have to have a bucket hanging from it. Um, you collect the sap and then just put it on to boil. Well, what can we cook once we've done all that? Once you've done all that and you have your maple syrup, basically think of anything that you could add sugar to and replace it with maple syrup. Yeah. We're trying to get away from refined sugars, from sweeteners, um, and go a little bit more healthy with our own maple syrup here. So for the month of March, we have a Celebrate Maple menu um, with everything maple syrup, from desserts with our maple cheesecake in a jar, our butternut squash and uh, apple and maple soup, mm. our maple seared scallops, which I'll just start right now. As an appetizer or an yep. entree? This is going to be, this is one of the appetizers that we do. So really, uh, house pickled beets, uh, quick pickled maple buttermilk uh, dressing, uh, pan seared scallops. So you so get these, your beautiful scallops. How long do you rinse them off? How long do you cook them for? Rinse them very, very quickly. I mean, scallops, that's the thing. You can eat them almost raw with a little lime, a little acidity just to cook them. Like a ceviche. Yep. And what people do is they usually overcook them. So they're tough and they're rubbery. They're, they're rubbery. So you really just want to do one flip. Watch your heat. Have that a nice. Quickly? Literally seconds? No, we just no. want it to brown. Once it browns, we're going to flip it over. How Once, long does it usually take? Uh, takes about 30 seconds, 45 okay. seconds. If you're worried that they're not going to be cooked enough, you can always pop them in the oven for about five or ten minutes. But like you said, it can't do you any harm if they're undercooked. Nope. Better it, under than over. Yep. And uh, they're going to be a lot more juicy. So you can see they're just taking mm. on some nice color there. And you're also serving up, tell us some more dishes that are infused or using maple syrup. Uh, we have lots of stuff. We have our maple whiskey French onion soup, our maple cured steelhead trout, our uh, bison short ribs with maple and sweet potato mash. Delicious. Our maple scallops, our maple soup. Um, and there are so many amazing properties to maple syrup. It, it feels like an indulgence because growing up we associate it with things like pancakes and French yep. toast, but you see it in health food stores all the time. Yep, and it's a, it's a huge thing. It's, it's local. Um, we're able to stay healthier with it. Yep. Um, the other thing we're doing, we're running a big maple breakfast special as well. So we're actually doing a one foot stack of pancakes. <laughs> with the, it's not for one person, it's for a family. I was going to um, say, With your own maple syrup that you can take home. Not that you're probably going to end up uh, not using it for it. But we're just going to use some of our maple syrup on the scallops. Okay. So you just have to be careful because it does have a high sugar content. It'll burn. Yep. So right near the end. Just All we're gonna enough. Do, Pour it right on top. Just a little bit. Mm, I see. Because you don't want that burnt taste. Nope. Just let it take a bath in, uh, in maple syrup. Who doesn't want to take a bath in maple syrup, chef? I don't know. Show me a person that doesn't want to. And right? It's probably someone I don't want to meet. <laughs> so once we just let these just get mm. some maple on them. Mm. That smells so good. We'll just turn the heat off. Dab them. So right here we have our house dripping. pickled beets, which we do from our pantry. Okay. We have our scallops. We have a maple and buttermilk dressing. Okay. Will this recipe be on our website? Are you sharing with us your secrets? Uh, www.deerhurstresort.com. Very good. We have a maple landing page where this recipe is along with other recipes. And then we're just going to finish this with some, just some house candy pecans for some texture. why not? That is beautiful. You really do such an amazing job. I hope we there get we to go. come visit you again soon. If you've never been, guys, go to Deerhurst Resort. And for more information, as you mentioned, deerhurstresort.com on this recipe and the event happening all through the month of March with a different infusion of maple syrup recipes and the tapping of the syrup in the sugar shack. Also at Deerhurst Resort on Twitter. We'll lead to that. We'll take a quick break. More BT after this.